So I'm here for this unveiling of the uh, Marshall mural. Um, between myself and Robert, I call it uh, Marshall and Falconry, the apotheosis, because I always think Marshall's the best in uh, telemetry and um, Obviously, you know, they go for a project like this, so I'm all in. Hi, my name's Tim Jessel. I'm from Stillwater, Oklahoma, via Indiana, where I grew up. Um, I'm a falconer, been doing that since around 1986, and I'm a professional illustrator. It actually began, I've been doing advertisements with Robert for, uh, he said this morning, it's been since like 2003, uh, something like that, and a variety of projects. Um, different styles. Uh, Robert's very creative. We kind of have a shorthand with each other in terms of creativity. It actually spoils me working with him because of that shorthand because we don't go down a bunch of rabbit holes. And, uh, things tend to work out pretty quickly because uh, we're on the same page. And this actually started um, another patron, if you will, of uh, mine is a falconer breeder named Brian Sullivan and he's always appreciated my work and he's commissioned me to do some pieces for him and I did a uh, Fijian peregrine chasing bats through the mountains and the island of Fiji and on social media Robert saw it and the dynamic movement and all that he just said you know that would be really cool to have something large like that uh, in the office and the next thing you know we're talking about a world scope of falconry and a 35 foot mural uh, is the result. We wanted to try to do is convey there's something going on here that everyone's a part of and you don't realize it day to day. And we're involved in something, a sport, an activity for our falconry customers that goes back in time before recorded history that spreads the globe in present day. How do you show that? How do you show what we're doing right now? And then with our GPS, we're having a big profound impact on this 3,000 year old sport that started in the Middle East. And we talked, we went back and forth, back and forth, and he came up with this concept and that's what you're about to see. So every time we come in past this building or past this mural, now we're gonna be reminded that we're involved in something pretty big and epic and timeless. And so once we drop the curtains, uh, Tim's going to explain to us a little bit about what was put together and why. So all we need now for you guys to do is just count down from five. Five, four, four three, <laughs> three, two, two one. one. Classic. We had to be sure we include Sheikh Zayed. He's universally respected in the Gulf. He's not one country, another. He's a pivotal figure and a falconer. But all the other ones are just kind of generic figures from back in time. So the ghosted images are falconers going back in time that have brought us to this point. And the bright images go from Japan to the Russian girl in the far corner. Their eagle. So, Tim, tell us a little bit about how you put this together. Well, uh, yeah, like Robert said, it was, uh, I, we just wanted to capture the whole scope. Um, you basically go from uh, east to, to, to west, and we've got, and I wanted to do different ages and, and genders and races and all that. So we've got the young couple with the, you know, that wants the red tail. Of course, all the birds have the commercial product in the, um, like my apprentices, this is his, his two Harris Hawks, um, little things like that. This is based um, on a statue in New York City called the Falconer, which I saw in 1986 and hit me like a bolt of lightning and said, I want to become a Falconer. But I switched the gender and made her a princess and she's launching off the pair. That, that hybrid up there, he, that's the one that's stooping these puns down here with the centers. We've got ducks coming off the pond. Uh, of course, we had to work in the, uh, the, the, the main GPS product. I worked digitally uh, from the ground up uh, around year 2000. 
Um, another illustrator convinced me to take a look at the digital world and I kind of dismissed it because I had what digital art looked like in my mind, almost like either a cut paper technique or a really kind of soft spray paint uh, look, which I didn't find attractive. Um, and he sent me an oil painting of a clown, I still remember it, and it looked exactly like his stuff and it looked like an oil painting. And then he started explaining to me um, how this worked with a, a Wacom tablet and all that. And because uh, I was thinking, how'd you do this with a mouse? That'd be like playing the piano with boxing gloves. So um, he hooked me on that and I've been digital ever since. So, uh, uh, but I work as traditional uh, looking as I can. I don't use a lot of layers. Uh, I fool people every day that it's traditional art. So I coined it traditional. Um, I just want that warmth feel of, uh, traditional art and I use build-up techniques just like in, uh, in natural media and of course that's my whole background is all natural media. Um, so um, Robert and I talked about the idea uh, conceptually uh, which what we usually do before we get going and um, I started sketching and I knew something was different when almost a week had gone by and I wasn't even done with the pencil stage yet. So I was like this is uh, I've bitten into a whale here. Um, anyway, so finally got the pencil to him and I'm thinking, oh, if he doesn't like it, this is going to be a lot of work just to change because, and he, you know, oh, this is great. Let's move forward. Uh, and then, gosh, I don't remember how long I spent on it. I did, I did an underpainting, again, a warning that this is, we're, this is going to take a long time. Uh, we had set a date uh, that we thought we could hit originally. And during the underpainting stage, I, I was already having misgivings uh, just because um, to the size and the scope of the uh, amount of things that are in the, in the image. Um, so it was a ton of hours. I can honestly say I probably never put so many condensed hours for such a long period on one project. It was a total of about four months, uh, probably two and a half months of just hard painting every day um, till about two in the morning. Uh, my wife, we run a boarding kennel at home as well for dogs, and she pretty much had to take over much of that um, duty so we could get through this. And I teach a class at Oklahoma State, and luckily we were all, I was off teaching. So it worked out. Um, ended up delivering it about a month late, but as one art director said to me, nothing's late if it's good. So hopefully it's good. Uh, everyone seems to be pleased, but that was a process. It was an emotional day when I finally finished. It was like, uh, you know, rumor around the whole family, Tim finished the mural, Tim finished the mural, because it kind of turned the life upside down because I just had to be so laser focused on this to get it done. But hopefully it's a piece that'll uh, have an Im impact in the falconry world and uh, be around for a while and that's it.